Good morning, everyone. Miriam Pinellas here with Hasidus as Medicine. Today is day 41 of the Omer, and today's attribute and lesson is Yisod should be Yisod. So we're in the week of Yisod, which we've defined as bonding and the foundation. And today, the energy of the day is the same. It's Yisod, it's the energy of the week. So it's very powerful when this happens, when the same attribute of the day is in, enveloped within the week. So it's a big, powerful day of bonding. What does this mean? I want to share a story um, because stories are also medicine and certainly Hasidic stories are medicine. And Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, a Hasidic master, wrote stories and he says he wrote them to wake people up. Waking up is a part of healing. 20 plus years ago, I went with my grandparents, um, Lava Shalom, to see the Square Rebbe for a blessing for marriage and children. And on the lot, I was waiting, we were waiting online and I, I think my grandparents were speaking with the Rebbe. I was standing in the back a little bit and just observe, watching and waiting. And while there was discussion, the, it would appear to be the Rebbe's son came from behind and came over to the Rebbe who was sitting at a table to tell him something. And the son looked like he was of adolescent years. And the son bent down to whisper something into this father's ears. I don't know what it could have been. It could have been as simple as dinner's ready or um, mom told me to give you this message. I don't know what it was, but what occurred left such an imprint in me and I realized now was medicine that was slowly taking effect over 20 years. The son bent down to tell the, his father, the, the Rebbe, the message. And the father looked up to his son and it was as if time stood still. No one, it, the impression was there was no one else in the room. The Rebbe looked up from what he was doing, speaking, learning, whatever it was, looked up to his son, put his hand on his son's cheek, his grown son's cheek, put his hand, looked into his eyes and you could feel the love permeating the room and spilling out everywhere to the point where it was like, for me, a little uncomfortable. Like there's other people in the room and there was this moment of intimacy of there's no one else in the world. I'm just listening to you. And the exchange was just a couple, less than a two minutes maybe, but it was palpable. And you could see the sun was a little bashful right sometimes it's hard to receive that love is <laughs> such focused attention on a person the exchange finished and we moved along and and my grandparents and the Rebbe exchanged a few words and um I don't know that I said much to the Rebbe but I received a blessing Baruch Hashem I realize now today thanks to all of you and doing this video that the blessing was already the medicine was the exchange that I observed the Baal Shem Tov teaches everything a person sees and encounters in life is a message to him in his service of Hashem and it was the exchange between the father and the son the focused attention and the love that I believe has been the lesson I've been learning all these years how to focus, how to love, what the whole, what the whole purpose of life is. The Baal Shem Tov said also that Hashem's love for every Jew is compared to the love of an elderly couple who has their only child in their later years. That Hashem's love for each of us is even greater than that. So imagine an elderly couple waiting a lifetime for a child and then that child comes. That is the love Hashem has for each of us. That's the love I witnessed between the Rebbe, Square Rebbe and his son. And I believe that's what this day is all about. Yisod should be Yisod. The foundation <clears throat> on a physical level in the reproductive system, which is connected to this energy. We, science teaches that it, it's between 40 billion and 40, as a 40 million and a billion sperm are released in the efforts to create a child and only one makes it to an egg to create that child out of a billion. My teachers asked us a class once, why is this? Why does this happen? Why does it take a billion for one? 
and I believe it's the, the message of today because it's, it's one. Each of us is, is so significant and that is God's love for each of us. There could be billions of people, right? Billions of people in the world and there are and still God's love for you is one, is singular, is so focused and beyond. That's what we can receive today with God's help and that is what we can give to each other. Focused, singular, otherworldly love and that is what the people all of us need and certainly our children and the people in our lives everyone is waiting to be seen the way the Rebbe looked at his son is that there's no one else in the world and nothing else matters but in this moment you're here speaking to me this is where I have to be this is presence this is healing and this is love have a blessed day